We love featuring artists you should know about. Today, we're heading to Australia to chat with award-winning singer-songwriter Don Allen. Don's based out of Queensland. His passion is traditional country music. His latest single, Suzanne, was recorded in Nashville, produced locally in Australia with Big Note Productions. Don's been involved in the country music scene in New Zealand, Australia, and the USA. We're stoked to have Don Allen on the show. First, Don, thanks so much for staying up late with us. So good to be here, Jeff. So good to be on your program. Yeah, it's. we were just talking. It's 10 o'clock at night. He's 16 hours ahead of us in yeah, Queensland. So yeah, I'm losing my beauty sleep here. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're keeping him up late, that, that's for sure. And, I mean, <laughs> Queenslanders, so how far are you from the coast? Are you right on the coast then, Don? Right on right on the coast. Yeah, we, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Queensland is um, basically surrounded pretty much by water. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're lucky enough to be on the Gold Coast here in Queensland, which is a huge tourist resort here. Yeah, it's it'd be pretty sweet to check it out. You were born and raised on a dairy farm in New Zealand. So what okay. got you into music? Okay, well, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in about 11 years of age, my mum and dad had a uh, they had an old gramophone and uh, they had two albums, uh, one of Jim Reeves and one of Slim Whitman. And uh, that's what I grew up with, was those two albums. And, 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 and I grew a love for country music from those two albums and those two artists and uh, um, then started uh, performing at uh, probably the age of about 15. I started going to a local country music club, um, which uh, was so good. And, uh, you know, by... By age twenty, I had my own band, and we were we would we were working like five nights a week in New Zealand at that stage uh, with my band, and getting pretty good money too. I was very surprised uh, when I first came over to um, over to US in uh, nineteen eighty. Actually, my first trip to the US, and uh, you know we were getting we were getting like in New Zealand at that time about a hundred dollars a piece. You know, as a as a as a, in a band and that sort of thing, and a lot of the boys I talked to over there are only sort of getting thirty bucks a, a, a night, you know, and so it was quite uh, quite a difference of, uh, of money wise that sort of thing in those days. Yeah, yeah, but uh, so yeah, I left the left the farm um, uh, in New Zealand, and it, like I left the farm and I went into the city over there and did a, an apprenticeship uh, with cabinet making and. Basically, had a had a business, uh, a, a, a kitchen manufacturing business that uh, I only just sold um, two years ago, and uh, so that that sort of held me. That sort of held me grounded uh, my business because I, at one stage I had twenty odd, twenty people I'd employing, and um, um, so it was a really, really sort of hectic time a lot of times, and uh, so I had to spend a fair bit of time with that and. And not so much with music, you know. But I, 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 know. I love the music, and I'm now when I'm now that I've sold the business, I'm back in the music full time. We're writing again now, and uh, uh, just uh, we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the next ten years at least, you know. Well, exactly. Well, and what brought you to the states? Because you lived over here in your twenties. I lived over here. Yeah, over, I, I lived over in uh, over in the states. I just. You know what brought me to the States was, I guess, my love of country music because I knew that's where I wanted to be and that's the sort of country music I loved is, is the American style. Um, and uh, I just I just wanted to go. You know, when I'd, I'd, I'd walk down, a, if I heard an American accent when I was walking down the street or something, I would just hang around so I could listen to that accent. I just loved it. You know? <laughs> so I, I did. I had this hankering to get over there and... Um, so that's what we did, and I packed up. I had two little, two young, young children, right? Uh, a two-year-old and a and a two-month-old. Knew nobody in America at all at that stage, and just decided we were going. Uh, that's what I did. So I ended up actually ended up in uh, Sacramento, and uh, oh wow, yeah, Sacramento. We did. Um, uh, I did actually. Uh, I, I did do a couple of things in Sacramento. I met uh, Ron Smack, who had Easy Living Country. Uh, television show he was filming out of Sacramento and uh, uh, I did a couple of uh, couple of spots on that show years ago so that was good and uh, yeah so uh, the, uh, although when I did get over there I, 
you know, my whole idea was I needed to get to Nashville, and I never did because because we were so tied uh, with uh, with young family and stuff like that. So, and in the end, the uh, um, immigration department told me that uh, I'd outstay my time, and I meant to go on back. So <laughs> yeah. I had to get back, you know. But, so that's so I still had that hankering to get there, and uh, I finally did it in about two thousand and. Uh, 2015, I think, was the, first, the, the next time I, I got over there and I started recording. And uh, so I've done, I've done, uh, yeah, three albums over there now. Wow, yeah, he's been, he's been recording yeah. in Nashville the whole time. And it's funny when you move back, you were you were heading to New Zealand, but you stopped in Queensland, and you've been there for 40 years. That's right, you know, and it was that was funny. Uh, my wife at that stage, um, her uh, her mum was living in. Uh, in Melbourne, in Australia. And so it was just, it was a stopover just to see her on our way back through to New Zealand. Well, that stopover was like being like about 45 years. Now, you know? <laughs> uh, they, they've never left. Well, you mentioned that you came back over in like 2015 to record music. You've recorded three albums. I mean, you were crushing it in 2018. You had all kinds of releases. Was it COVID that stopped you? I mean, what what was the gap? Was it business? What was it? Yeah, it was COVID. Actually, COVID did. Yeah, COVID. Yeah, really. Sort of. It it made it really hard, and um, I, so because we couldn't, you know, we couldn't at one stage we couldn't travel. You know? Yeah, um, yeah. You guys were really locked uh, down. Yeah, and so I had to watch it, watch it, and that sort of thing. And plus, business, business has held me back a bit too. But uh, you know, like uh, as I say, I I was always wanted to have my feet planted firmly on on terra firma. Um, so, because the business, the uh, the show business world is uh, pretty fickle in some a lot of cases, you know. So I had to, I had to sort of get around, make sure that everything was right with my business first before I went out there. And and, and uh, I mean, I could have gone professional many times, but I sort of did. I, I classed myself all along through my career as semi-professional uh, in the music and. Um, uh, yeah, but still, you know, I still love it, and I still do it, and uh, that's the main thing, Jeff. Yeah? yeah, for sure. Uh, we're chatting with Don Allen. Go check him out. He's on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, his brand new single, Suzanne, is out now. How long, or who gave you the the Don na- nickname, Don? <laughs> well, you know, I um, I guess I gave it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I really did, you know, like. Uh, there was a, there was a, a, an advert an, an advert on, on going over here uh, advertisement that used to uh, sell um, Don small goods and uh, that was always uh, it, it was it, it, he's Don he's good and um, that was their slogan and I, and I used to use that as a as a as a message on my phone you know you know sorry you know sorry but you can't answer the phone just remember he's Don he's good. So it, it, it actually expanded it from there, and I actually uh, I actually started um, or, or you know developed a uh, a little honky tonk myself over here, um, and that was about uh, three years ago. Now I developed this great little honky tonk. We had it; uh, it was happening really beautifully, really went going well. But the trouble was where I put it was up above my business um, in a in a in a. Uh, uh, above my offices at my business, and um, unfortunately, it was the wrong zoning as far as our our local councils were concerned here, and uh, they wouldn't give me permission to actually have it there. So I had to do it sort of illegally for quite a long time. Couldn't get a couldn't get a, an actual license for it. So in the end, when I sold the business, uh, I had to basically let that go too and strip all that out. But and but that was called the Don's Place, the yeah. Don's Place, and so. But yeah, and the Don has stuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> so you had to get rid of the Don's place. Well, that that stinks because that looked like it was cool. You had like Dolly on the wall. I mean, it was all decked out. Oh man, it was so good. Yeah, I'm very glad you've seen that all, all that. Yeah. Yeah. It it was great. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that because that that looked pretty cool. So uh, zoning restrictions that that stinks. Sorry, say, say again, Jeff. Sorry. Uh, so it was zoning restrictions, or the city wouldn't let you have it, or yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. It was in a um, in a manufacturing zoning. Where oh, okay. you know, you do, doing manufacturing, not not showbiz sort of stuff, you know. Yeah. So 
unfortunately, the council wouldn't give me permission, and also then, of course, I couldn't get a liquor license either. You know, so we was <laughs> we were selling. Don't tell anybody we were selling liquor illegally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that, that would have been a good time. Well, your previous oh. single, "Hold Your Head High." This came out last year, but you wrote this song in 1989. Tell us about this song, Don. It was incredible. So it was incredible. Yeah, um, I was only a pretty new in in Australia right at that stage. And I say new, like I, I came to Australia in 1980. I think it was 82, 82, something like that. But and I went on tour with uh, two or three uh, different artists from uh, from around Australia, uh, well known artists over here, and. Uh, I uh, went on tour with him, and it's in, in the bus traveling throughout the Australian countryside, and just just noting things, just writing it down. You know, all of a sudden, I thought, I've got a, I got some sort of a song here. I got, you know, I can make something out of this. And uh, so I, I did, and then it came up, and I had uh, I had friends in, you um, know, in, in a studio that uh, basically be the, the, they were rock they were rock musicians, and they took this song and they rocked it up, and that was it was. It was a, a it was a great version, but I couldn't put it out as as what I wanted, you know, because it just wasn't what I did. Um, so I left it and left it, and then uh, that was my first uh, when I put into uh, uh, Big No Productions. I went to see them and I took the song, and they loved it. They loved it. They said, "Let's do something with this." So that's uh, that's where that song uh, really developed itself and came within its own and. Uh, you know, we, we were actually, I was quite surprised. I thought that it would go probably better than it has in Australia. Um, but it, it uh, yeah, it sort of lacked momentum here. We couldn't really get it happening. Um, it's, uh, it's still being well received in New Zealand, even though it's an Australiana song. Um, they are, they are playing it quite a bit over there. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that we thought we had a jam, but it obviously wasn't, you know? Yeah, yeah. You never know in this business. You mentioned oh, the bus. <laughs> you have the Dawn bus. How long have you had this? This this thing is cool. The, oh, the Dawn bus, yes. Well, we just come back from that. We've been away uh, up, up at a place called Harvey Bay, and, uh, uh, yeah, in, into the Dawn bus we go, and oh, she goes, oh, beautiful. I've had that for... Uh, Oh, when did I buy that? I, I must have had it at least 10, 12 years now, I guess. And uh, we just uh, sign wrote it up, did a bit of stuff inside it, you know. And so it's a sleep, it's a sleeper. We can sleep in it and put the awning out. Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy bus. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it says the Don on the side has a big picture of Don on it. You, you, they can see you coming, Don. That, that's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. We get there, yeah, we've caught a few waves and. The toots all, uh, all the way on the road, you know? Yeah. Well, how did you get your hookup in Nashville? Was it because of Big Note or how, no, how did that happen? Uh, well, but Big, Note, Big Note themselves are a, are a, uh, a company, a uh, recording company here on the Gold Coast. Okay. And I, 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 I just heard before you actually uh, said that I recorded uh, Suzanne in Nashville, but I didn't. I actually recorded it here on the Gold Coast with Big Note Productions. Um, so I thought I'd just get that one right. Um, but yeah, my, my, uh, my hookup in Nashville was, uh, originally, uh, I recorded with, um, a company called, uh, G, G, GCM or something. Yeah. I recorded, they were, they were taking, um, artists and sort of recording albums for them, you know, at a, at a sort of a cut rate. Well, I thought it was a cut rate at that stage, but it wasn't. But anyway. Um, <laughs> CM, uh, CMG, I think CMG record, something like that. Yeah. It, yeah. And, uh, so that, uh, that was good. I mean, we've got good, good first album now. Then I met up with a guy called, uh, uh, Kenny Lee in Nashville. And, uh, Kenny's, Kenny's a great producer, an absolute, uh, phenomenal singer and, uh, knows, knows, uh, knows how to do things properly, you know, and, uh, knows the right musos. And, uh, so I've recorded two albums with Kenny now also. Over there now, so um, you know it's. Uh, I love Nashville. We 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 we're heading. I'm hoping to head back over uh, next year, probably next about October, because I want to put something into the uh, the Josie Awards over there again this year. Nice. Um, yeah, so that's when we're hoping to get back. Um, 
over there with a few more a few more recordings. I've, I've got I've still got uh, um, a lot of stuff that I've recorded that I have not released yet. Sort of still in the cans. We 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 we're going to put an album out uh, probably into January. We'll put a new album out. Um, I have got two more releases before that. Before I do that, um, the the next release is uh, is something out of the ordinary for me because I don't do a lot of hymn stuff. But I'm doing a remake of um, of How Great Thou Art, and we are just so wrapped with the way this has come up. This song. Um, and then I've got another song after that that was written uh, also by the same guy that wrote Suzanne, actually. And uh, they, I don't know whether you've picked up with Suzanne, but I believe it's sort of got a very maverick orientation to it. And um, and so does this, uh, the, uh, the final song that I've got to release this year. Uh, has also got that Maverick uh, orientation about it, but I heard it, I love the song, because I love the Mavericks, you know, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, so, it's, yeah, it's just, uh, it's exciting. We, we we try and keep it going, Jeff. Yeah, no, you always got to keep it going. You always got to have, you know, two steps <laughs> ahead of everything in this business, that's for sure. We, yeah. I'm interviewing another artist. She's a Canadian artist, and that's funny, because she did how great, Thou Art, like a year ago, is a cover song. I wonder why that song is so huge right now. Yeah, that's uh, that's strange, you know. Like, because uh, I, I I know I know there's one uh, lady over there that uh, I think uh, she did it with Vern Gossett, I believe, uh, on stage one night. Did it live. Uh, might be the same. May, maybe the same lady we're talking about. Uh, and she did a great version of that, also. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we, we believe with, with what we have now, um, uh, in a, in a, in a gospel situation, uh, people are going to love this and you don't even have to be in a gospel situation. They just, it's one of those songs, uh, Jeff, that I think is universal and they just love it. I love this thing oh, yeah. myself, song. um, and we've done, we've just got one hell of a version and we can't wait to get it out. Yeah, no, I can't. Can't wait to hear it, that's for sure. Go check out Don. It's, he's at Don Allen on Facebook. Uh, go to YouTube, check out his stuff. Uh, he's got videos on there. His brand new single, Suzanne, is out now. Well, Suzanne, you heard this song. You got excited. You mentioned it was written by Graham Thompson. How did you find this song, Don? Yep. Okay, Graham Thompson is a pretty good friend of mine. He uh, he plays in a band called Buddy Love over here uh, in, and around, uh, in and around the Gold Coast, and... Uh, they do a lot of, uh, they play for a lot of the old 50s, uh, 60s rock and roll dances and stuff still happening over here. Um, and very popular, though, great band. So, uh, actually had uh, Graham in his bed working at uh, my honky tonk uh, one night and they bought a CD into, uh, to let me have a listen to and I listened to it. They put it, they just had demos on the CD and uh, these two songs were on the CD and I said, hey, I'd love to. I'd love to have a look at these ones and uh, record if, if I could. So they 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 gave me you know full permission. Yeah, go ahead and do it. So um, that's where that all come from. Yeah, sweet. And then uh, yeah, you mentioned the Josie Awards. You've been a three time Josie Award nominee. I think they're coming back up. What in October or something? So you're going to try uh, and get in it next year. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, that's Nick. Well, they are this year. They, they, yeah, I've missed out on this year. I didn't even enter anything this year. Uh, but, uh, we will definitely enter for next year. And, uh, that's when we will come over there. And, you know, uh, and as I said, uh, too, I'd like to get up and around Montana. So we'll call and see you too, Jeff, sometime. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, you, you said you fly into LA and then drive to Nashville. That's, that's, that's seeing some country. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll see. I do that on purpose so I can see the country rather than flying, you know? Um, yeah. yeah. I drop into Nashville and then we get a vehicle and just just drive, just, you know, stay in the different states. And it's just such a great country to drive through, man, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. But uh, go and check him out. Suzanne, brand new song from Don Allen and a lot more to come. Well, Don, thanks so much for staying up late with us. Jeff, absolute pleasure. And if if uh, you're listening, crowd over there, 
are are uh, are hearing what you know, hearing my stuff and liking my stuff. I'd love them to uh, start ringing the radio station and say, "Hey, you got Don Allen stuff, Suzanne? It's actually uh, it's actually creeping up on the charts over here. We're we're number seven on one of the big charts here in Australia. So um, that may even jump tomorrow. They it come the results for that come out again tomorrow. So it it keeps on crawling up that chart. That's what I love to see. So. As I say, if any any listeners on this thing, how, how you know, like hello to you all, and uh, please request the dawn. Exactly, request the dawn. Here he is, Suzanne by Don Allen. It's Kicks ninety six five.